So this time from the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra line, we're taking a look at one of the very few actual G.I. Joe troop builders. Most of the Joe figures have been specific individuals over the years. There have been very few uh, troop builders, generic troopers, and even generic pilots. There's al always been more Cobra troop builders of just generic guys. Also like the fact that this has a little bit of a throwback to the original Skill Brigade um, figure, which was a mail away. You would actually mail away and fill out a form. Uh, you customize your little uh, file folder, and when they'd send you the Steel Brigade Trooper in the mail, you'd get all the information that you have filled out would be printed out on your very own file card. And they do have a kind of nod to that in that they have left the name blank up there. So I guess you could fill in your own name uh, if you wanted to. Something that uh, I've mentioned with all of these figures uh, that they've listed all their weapons and combat gear on the back of the package something that they didn't do initially this guy is no slouch for weapons so let's take a look at what he's wielding here he's got his uh, close quarter combat rifle with the bayonet already attached looks to be some sort of M16 or AR15 variant gun. Now he comes with two backpacks. Uh, the one he's wearing, which I'll I'll get to later, and a another backpack with a E tool or entrenching tool uh, painted into there. It's very mis uh, misleading. It looks like that this might come out uh, but no it's just painted uh, on there this is the rocket storage backpack which is just a remold of the 25th anniversary I think it's bazooka and it has four removable rockets that fits into his bazooka and you just load them in like that. When you're done, you can clip it back in there. It has this uh, heavy machine gun with a tripod stand, giving you uh, lots of options if you get a bunch of these guys. Uh, you can use the weapons and give them each a different kind of weapon uh, now the last accessory here is his helmet which is removable very nice and uh, you can probably tell that he uses the beachhead head it's kind of unfortunate um, and maybe if they had painted this a different color, like black or or gray even, it would have been a little bit better. Vest here is removable, as, um, as well as this bandolier he has with a grenade and pouch molded onto it. I'm not going to take it off. It's, it's pretty difficult to get it back on. Uh, I don't want to waste the time. Uh, you can see that he's got a turtleneck here, but it's actually a separate piece here that that helps uh, sell that uh, little uh, illusion there of the turtleneck popping up over his body armor. 
and that's nice pretty all these guys are pretty detailed nicely articulated all these standard GI Joe articulation left and right and up and down uh, just a little bit on the head arms go all the way around out bend and rotate at the elbow his hands rotate here and they also bend forward like this uh, on or pivot like this on this hand and in and out on the other hand um, is does have upper torso articulation which helps him move left and right and a little bit forward and backwards uh, legs this figure's legs are really really tight um, but he does move forward and back and out to the side just a little bit uh, I don't want to force it it feels like it's gonna break that's the first figure that I've had um, out of this whole line that's been like that um, so I don't know if it's just my figure quality control with my figure or all these uh, in general um, so just be aware of that um, he's got double knee joints very nice and his feet bend and rotate and of course I forgot to mention his base with me with his name on it yeah so uh, it's cool to kind of have a fine to kind of finally have a G.I. Joe troop builder and although I don't like the reuse of the beachhead head sculpt uh, if you put the helmet on it doesn't really matter and you know it's 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 just as cool I guess that'll be it for the uh, steel brigade trooper and stay tuned possibly some more GI Joe's down the line but for right now uh, it's kind of it uh, so until my next video I'll see you.